Hello and welcome back to the Geshu.com Incorporated video tutorial series. In this video we will be covering Twitter and we will be creating a Twitter app specifically for the Geshu.com product, the social media auto poster, uh, which could be purchased through Geshu.com or Code Canyon. Um, the product is for automatically posting your different types of content to different social media channels. In one of our previous videos we covered Facebook, we also covered LinkedIn, um, and as new social media uh, platforms enable the ability to auto post, we will be incorporating them into our product. But today we want to set up the Twitter section. For that we need to get a Twitter app so that we can have the consumer key and the consumer secret. In order to do that, we need, of course, a Twitter account. We then go to apps.twitter.com. And once there, we cl click on Create New App. As with all apps, it needs to have a name. It needs to have a description. And the website. We need a callback URL so that during the authentication process, before a post can be done, we need to authenticate and it needs to send us back to um, our application. So when you get into the settings of social media auto poster settings and you scroll down to Twitter, you'll see that we provide a read only field with the correct callback URL. You enter in that, you accept the developer agreement, and you click create your Twitter app. Three minutes and you're done creating the initial app. We will need to change the permissions in order to get this to run. By default you get read and write permissions, but we need um, direct message position. This, although it says read, write, and access direct messages, there are um, some sort of convoluted permissions within Twitter that um, enforce us to to need these. It forces us to need these these uh, uh, updated settings, these more advanced settings, if you will. Update the settings. Go back to keys and access, and you'll see here consumer key and consumer secret, and that is exactly what we require here in order to activate the Twitter feature of this plugin and be able to add Twitter, this Twitter account for posting. So first thing I want to do is click on the enable because I want this feature of this product to be enabled. I then go back to the Twitter um, app. I copy the consumer key, paste it in here, and then copy the consumer secret, paste it in here. I don't bother trying to copy my API key or secret because after this video I'm deleting all the apps. I then scroll down and I click save changes. So now update is successful, Twitter information has been um, added, my Twitter app is created. I can now go to the list account or the social auto poster list account. The first tab is Twitter. Right now I have no Twitter accounts. I can add a new Twitter account. What this does is it sends me to Twitter, asks me to authorize the app I just created. Guess your test app two. Guess your test app two. I'm going to authorize this, and once I click on authorize, it's then going to send me back to my re callback URL, which is again the site where I just came from. Um, so it's reading right back to you. So now it has added Geshu.com Twitter account, and I can go about s setting up what content should be posted to this Twitter account from my WordPress website. I click on posts, or if I have more content types, whether it's products, uh, uh, news articles, what have you, and then in there, I'll most likely have some type of categories. I can either choose uncategorized or a category that category that has been set up. And then I could say, what do I want to post to this Twitter? 
I'd like to have the title and I would like to have the image because let's say under posts I always have an image in, on, in the uncategorized section. I would then save this configuration and now I need to do the cron job. In order for these to be posted, okay, we need to run a cron job every 15 minutes. So I take, I, and it has to be to this specific URL. This is like an individual script that's only for this Twitter, Twitter account. Right? So when we deal with Facebook, when we deal with uh, LinkedIn, and Instagram is currently in, in, in beta here, but if we click Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn, we will um, have to run individual cron jobs for each account we add, which is why we recommend uh, under the cron jobs in the documentation that um, you learned about in the initial installation video, how to install our plugins. We, uh, we use cron-job.org. You could use uh, your hosting provider's cron jobs. Not a big deal. Not much of a difference in settings. It's just that cron-job.org is a uh, free alternative should you not have the skills or should you not have the ability to do a Linux based uh, command line cron setup or understand the GoDaddy's cron uh, settings. So, um, within our documentation, we show you exactly how to create your Twitter app, exactly what we just went through, and enter in all the settings you require, um, and then add your individual uh, Twitter accounts. That's what we just did here. So I take this cron job URL and I either use cron-job.org go to members go to cron jobs create a new cron job give it a title paste in this cron job URL select every 15 minutes click on create cron job. It's that simple here. Um, and then every 15 minutes the website will be checked to whether a, a, new, um, a new post has been done for this particular content type or for this particular Twitter page and it'll post it automatically to Twitter for you. So with that I thank you for watching this video. I look forward to uh, uh, seeing you on the next video and I hope that this was helpful for you.